Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. I'm Emily and today we're going to be reading the story Henry the Dog with No Tail, written by Kate Pfeiffer and illustrated by Jules Pfeiffer. In this story, we learn a little bit about what it's like to have something that makes you different and learn to embrace it and realize that it's something that makes us special. So why don't we all pull up a chair and get ready to read all about Henry. Henry wanted one thing in life. He wanted a tail. Henry was a dog with no tail, and this made him sad. All of the other dogs he knew had tails. His best friend Grady, a black Labrador, had a great big black tail that he swung like a baseball bat and chased like a cat. His friend Pip, a pug, could do tricks with her tail. She could twist it and curl it. Pip liked to put on shows for the other dogs. She'd ask all the dogs in the audience to bark to ten, and before they were done, she had her tail tied in a bow. And then there was Larry. Larry, was, whose real name was Larissima, was a prize-winning poodle whose tail stuck straight up in the air and had a puffy ball stuck to it at the end. Henry didn't care if he had a long or thin or curly or puffy tail. He didn't care what kind of tail he had. Henry moped around his house, feeling sorry for himself. He moped and he moped. His owner saw how sad he was, so they told him he should go find a tail. Henry thought this was a fine idea and left at home in search of a tail. And naturally, when a dog goes in search of a tail, he goes to the tailors. Hello, said Henry. Hello, said the tailor. I'm here for a tail, said Henry. As you can see, I do not have one. Have you have, perhaps you have one extra. I don't have tails here, but I could try to make you one, replied the tailor. The tailor worked all day and all night and made a tail for Henry. The tailor buttoned it on and Henry went on his way. Henry wanted to show off his new tail, so he went to the park. Look, he said, I've got a new tail. Wow, neat, cool, said Grady. Does it do any tricks, asked Pip. Henry ran around in a circle and jumped over his tail. The first time, he did a high jump. Then he did a long jump. Then he ran backwards and jumped. Then he did a spin jump, a low jump, and a leap jump. Then he tripped. Guess what? Dogs don't trip over real tails, said Larissima. I think your tricks are neat, said Grady. Sometimes tricks take practice, added Pip. It doesn't look like a real tail to me, said Larry. If that's a real tail, then wag it. Henry tried to wag his tail, but it wouldn't wag. I told you that wasn't a tail, scoffed Larry. It's a fake. Henry left the park feeling miserable. His new tail was too long. And worst of all, it didn't wag. What good was a tail that didn't wag? So Henry went to the wagon maker and asked, can you make a tail wag? But the wagon maker said, I don't make things wag, I make wagons. Henry bought a wagon from the wagon maker. He filled his wagon with food and water and left town, vowing not to return until his new tail wagged. He traveled for three days and three nights. He climbed mountains and walked around lakes. On the fourth day, he ended up in New York City's Battery Park. It was full of batteries. Henry decided to put one on his tail, and his tail started to wag. Henry packed up his wagon and headed home. His tail started wagging so fast it was hard to walk, so he ran. Then his tail started wagging so fast that it was hard to run. So he sat down, and his tail pushed him the rest of the way. Look, said Henry, my tail wags. Wow, neat, cool, said Grady. Harumph, scoffed Larry. You can be in my show, said the excited Pip. Which was good, because Henry's tail was wagging so fast, it lifted him up off the ground and threw him along like a frisbee. Since not many dogs have tails that can toss them across the field, Pip was sure the show would be a great success. She called together all of the dogs. After finishing her act, Pimp announced her new partner. Introducing Henry 
the dog with the super tail. It's unlike any tail anywhere, at any time, in any place. Please put your paws together for Henry. The dogs put paw to paw and barked a round of applause. At this point, Henry was supposed to fly onto the stage, but he didn't. Instead, he shouted, I'm up here. All of the dogs looked up. Harry was in the air, flying like a helicopter. Brady and the other dogs thought this was a pretty cool trick and shouted higher, higher. But Henry didn't want to go higher. He wanted to go lower. He wanted to be on the ground, chasing balls, not up in the air, doing dodging birds. Henry was scared. He grabbed onto a branch at the very top of the tree and held on as tight as he could. Higher, 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 chanted the dogs below. All the dogs, that is, but one. Take the battery off your tail, yelled Larry. Even though it was Larry's idea, Henry knew it was a good idea. He took the battery off his tail and it stopped wagging. Then he took off his tail and hung it from a branch on the tree. Henry, the dog with no tail, carefully climbed down the tree. Wow, neat, cool, said Grady. What a show, exclaimed Pip. You know, I guess you're not so bad without a tail, conceded Larry. And Henry agreed. I think my days of having a tail are behind me. To this day, Harry's tail remains on the tree, flapping like a flag in the wind. And to this day, Henry, the dog with no tail, is very happy that he's a dog with no tail and a tale to tell. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for this story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We really hope you to see you next week.